making and there will be a lot of mistakes in this video so please support us and give us the feedback so that we can improve in the next videos and today we are going to make a cake video and the cake is supposed to be for my brother's birthday so let's get started now before we begin to make our cake there are some important things you need to keep in your mind like all the utensils you are using should not have a single drop of water present in them and all the ingredients you are using to make the cake should be in room temperature. Now we are going to mix the dry ingredients. For that I have taken 250 ml that is 1 cup of all purpose flour. 1 teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder 1 half a teaspoon of instant coffee powder Now we have to mix all these ingredients together Now we have to strain this through a strainer 3 times Then only our cake will become soft so I'm taking a new bowl for that. Now I strain this. You have to take all the powder. Repeat this process three times. I have finished straining this mix. I'm going to keep this aside and take a new bowl for beating our eggs. I'm taking three, uh, four eggs for beating. I'm going to separate its yolk and white. I have separated the egg yolks and the egg whites and I have added half a teaspoon of vanilla essence to the egg yolks. By mistake that was not being recorded. Now whisk this. After beating the egg yolks, let's beat the egg whites with a beater. Okay, now our egg yolks, I mean egg whites have been a little fluffy. Now let's add our powdered sugar. We should add the powdered sugar little by little. And beat it until the powdered sugar has completely dissolved. I have added all the powdered sugar into the egg whites and the consistency is like this. Now we have to beat this egg whites until it becomes thick and fluffy. I have added the egg yolks to the egg whites and I have mixed it very nicely. We have to mix it until it becomes fluffy. Our eggs have become thick and fluffy. Let's add 1 by 4 cup of sunflower oil. Don't add coconut oil. Now we have to mix it only for a little time. Don't mix it too much. Now we have to add a cake mix into the eggs, little by little. We should just fold our cake batter like this. Don't over mix. I have added all the cake powder, little by little. And my batter is a little bit thick now. So I am going to add lukewarm milk into this batter. I am going to add the milk little by little. You can add the milk little by little until your cake consist bat cons batter consistency is right. This is the consistency of my batter. Now let's keep this aside and start to grease the my pan. This is an 8 inch pan. I am greasing it with oil. Grease it all the way. And then add a butter paper. After putting the butter paper, let's grease it one more time with oil. Now I'm going to add, add half a teaspoon of vinegar to our cake batter. This is to reduce the smell of the egg. Then mix it. Now I'm going to pour the cake batter into the pan. Now 
then take a toothpick and then swirl it in the cake batter like this after that tap it for a few, few times so that the air bubbles get released I have covered the pan with a foil paper and I am going to bake this cake on a gas top. Take a large steel bowl, pour some water in it and then put a small stand in it like this. Preheat this for 5 minutes. Now the pan is preheated for 5 minutes. I am going to put in my cake pan. Then cover the pan with the lid and bake this cake for 35 minutes on medium flame. Now our cake base is ready and it is so soft. Isn't it Isaac? Yeah it is. Ok now let's keep this aside for cooling. Now let's start to make our soaking syrup and mocha cream. First we are going to make the soaking syrup. For that I am going to add 1 by 4 cup of sugar and half a cup of water. Now boil this mixture until the sugar is dissolved. Now our sugar has completely dissolved. Let's add half a teaspoon of coffee powder and 2 bars of chocolate, dark chocolate. Now let this melt completely. Now our chocolate has completely dissolved. Let's off the flame and strain it through a strainer. Now let's strain it. Let our soaking syrup cool down to room temperature. Now let's make our mocha cream. For that I am going to add one and a half tablespoon of whipping cream. Then add three tablespoon of cocoa powder. powder. And half a teaspoon of coffee powder. Now we are going to melt this through double boiling method. For that I have poured some water in a pan. I am going to keep our pan on top of it. And then I am going to mix it. Now our mocha cream is ready. I also added one more tablespoon of whipping cream to it. Now it should cool down until its room temperature. And then we can put it into the refrigerator. Now we are going to make our chocolate buttercream and a whipping cream for our cake frosting. If you don't want buttercream, you can just make whipping cream and add our mocha cream into the whipping cream. Now let's make our buttercream. For that, I am taking 100 grams of butter which is in room temperature. Now we are going to make a buttercream. I am going to beat the buttercream until it becomes white color. Now it is in yellow color. Now our buttercream is white. Now I am going to add 4 tablespoons of powdered sugar into the buttercream. I am going to add it little by little and then I am going to beat it. Now I am going to add the rest of it. to add mocha cream to the buttercream. Now I am going to beat it. Now our chocolate buttercream is ready. Let's keep it in the refrigerator. Now let's make a whipping cream. For that I am taking a bowl and I am going to wipe it until, the, until there is no water present. Now I have finished wiping the bowl. Let's add one and a half cup of whipping cream. I am using Mac Top whipping cream. Okay, let's add one and a half cup of whipping cream into the bowl. Now. 
Now let's beat it. I was waiting in the first speed. Now I'm going to uh, wait it in second speed. Now it's a little bit thick. We can start adding our buttercream little by little. Add a little by little. Now I added all the buttercream. Now let's beat it in third speed. Cream is ready. Now let's put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to demold the cake. I have cut the cake into three portions. Now let's serve them with our serving syrup. Now let's start frosting the cake. I'm going to keep a cake board on top of it. And then I'm going to start frosting. First, spread some cream on the cake board and then let's keep our first layer on it. Now, give it a second layer of, of soybean syrup. And then, we have to put the now let's start frosting. I have finished with the finished crown coating. Now we will put this half an hour in the fridge and then start frosting it again. Now I am going to frost this completely. Now I'm going to beat half a cup of pink green for decoration. Now let's beat it until it is thick. <laughs> Now let's make chocolate ganache. For that, I am taking one, I mean two tablespoons of whipping cream. And one by four cup of grated chocolate, dark chocolate. And then I am going to melt this using double boiling method. Now our white whipping cream has set in the fridge. Now to make it a brown color, I'm going to add red and green food coloring. Add it 
Hadi ödül bayletelim. Now it has become a little uh, brown color. I don't think it is too clear in the camera, so sorry about that. Now our cake is ready and this is the final result of our cake. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye. See you in the next video.